Saturday marked day three of fall football training camp for the Ball State Cardinals out here at Schumann Stadium. Hi again, everybody. Joel Gadek, glad to have you with us here on Ball State All Access and BallStateSports.com. It's also the first day of our positional previews, and we figured we'd start with the most veteran group the Cardinals have. That's the running backs, all of whom returned from a season ago, and then you add another freshman into that mix. All that experience makes Coach Justin Lustig's job a lot easier, because while the players are the only ones who will actually be doing the playing, He's no longer the only one doing all of the coaching. Good, good eyes, good eyes, good eyes. With the culture and the things that we want done outside of football and football, um, you know, it's just, it's, there's been a consistent message for four years, which has been awesome. You know, you got Juwan and Horatio kind of sending the message themselves. And I think sometimes when it comes from the players and you're hearing it from your peers, that's, that's the most important thing. We got guys like uh, Denzel. Um, we got guys like McKenzie coaching up the younger guys as well. So a lot of guys know what they're doing, and we're just helping each other get better every day. If somebody misses a hole, if somebody misses a play, we're on their head. If somebody does something good, you see us all running down there, shake their hand. It's going very easy for us now. Coming in as a junior, having experience, like we able to coach each other. Like it's real exciting. Everybody know what they're doing. Now we just got the younger guy that's buying in, but he's picking, on, he's picking up pretty good on everything. That younger guy is Darian Green, added into a mix already including Juwan Edwards, Horatio Banks, Teddy Williamson, Denzel Pierce, and Mackenzie Nash, who, as corny as it sounds, aren't just a solid stable, they're also really good friends. We got a lot of camaraderie and chemistry in the room. We know like what to expect from different guys. We're, we're like a family in that room. Everybody is all help. It's all love. We have Snapchat each other all day. Like it's, it's just real exciting with us. Like we even have a group chat just as the running backs. Even Coach Lustig is in it, so it's pretty good. It's a diverse group, but they are a great group. They're extremely close knit. Uh, they really, really believe in what we're doing. They support each other as well as any group that we have in the program. Leading to unprecedented success, frontmanned by Edwards. It's funny, he doesn't like to watch uh, film from his first year, you know, because uh, how much better he's gotten. And, you know, he watches his film and sees mistakes that he's making or just sees maybe the, the, his physical conditioning and how that's changed. And, um, but he has gotten a lot better. The running back room is giving me confidence. It's telling me I'm doing a good job. I'm coaching a little bit more. Uh, coach is giving me assignments to drop on the board just, just to build my IQ of the game. The only real question for the unit heading into the year is the health of Horatio Banks, who tore his left ACL prior to the Northern Illinois game last year. Well, the answer is he's fine. Horatios look like Horatio, you know, like the old Horatio. So uh, we feel like he's 100% and ready to roll. He thinks he's not, though, but um, everybody sees the progress he's made. He's out here cutting good off that leg, that he, uh, the knee that he tore. Um, and all he has to do is build his confidence back up. He's going to be a great player for us this year. Like the first day, I was like, ah, this is my first day back out. But like this day three now, feeling real good. So I'm just taking it one day at a time. It's all about the process. One more note as far as Juwan Edwards is concerned. If Quake leads the Cardinals in rushing again this year, it'll be the fourth consecutive year the captain is atop the team's rushing charts, marking the first time that that's ever happened in program history. Bernie Parmalee did it three times when he played here in Muncie. He missed the fourth by just 27 yards in 1988. It's a pretty elite company. From fall training camp here at Schumann Stadium, I'm Joel Godet for BallStateSports.com.